So in today's video, I'm gonna be building this really useful shop furniture. These desks and workstation. These are made with two by fours and plywood. They're cheap and they're easy to create and they come with lots of storage. So just what I need to finish up my shop. So I began with cutting up some three quarter inch plywood for the tops. In total, I'm making two desks, one to hold the X-Carve, one to hold a 3D printer, and I'm making a taller workstation for all my sharpening related equipment. All these different workstations are made using the same design and construction. They just have slightly different measurements. So it's a very customizable idea and easy to tweak. So you can make a piece that fits your needs and your space exactly. So the base consists of these two by fours and I'm adding pocket hole joinery on the ends and in the middle on the rails to connect to the legs and to the bottom of the plywood piece for the top as well. So now I have a pretty basic table at this point, which I can add things to. Uh, so just trying it out and uh, yeah, of course Darwin got a little excited too. <laughs> So last night finished up the main table structure. Now I'm gonna work on the sides, which the drawer slides are gonna attach to for the drawers uh, in the desks. Now I need some two by fours. I'm gonna put drawer slides on these sides. On the one side, I'm gonna to have to add a little extra wood to kind of pad it out for the slides. So what I'm doing here is basically adding supports for the drawers to attach to. So plywood and then connecting the pieces to the table with two by fours and also adding some more supports on the lower sides just to make everything a bit more stable. Oh, and yes, using long clamps like this to hold the piece in place as you're securing it is a pretty useful little trick, I think. Works real well. Sides are done, basic structure is done, so I have drawers left uh, and some edge banding. So I'm using half inch plywood for the drawers, so just routing a groove for the bottom and I'm using backer board for that part. Now I'm going basic with the drawers, so using a pin nailer and glue to connect it together, which is plenty strong in my experience. And I just love this technique. It works great and there's no fuss involved. Now to attach the drawer slides, I'm adding some extra 2x4s here for some padding to make it nice and flush. And I'm using glue and pin nails to hold it in place and then securing with some screws for extra support. These are full extension drawer slides and I've used these in the past and they're really sturdy and strong. So perfect for the shop where I'm going to be storing tools and you know rather heavy things. Then just marking where the other part of the drawer slide needs to go on the actual drawer and securing that. Don't you just love the part when you connect the two together and it goes in really smoothly and yeah that's my favorite part. Now 
Done with the other two tables, more or less. Need to focus on the sharpening station here. That's gonna be tall and narrow. I want three drawers, since this is a longer table, more narrow. So three different drawers, and I need a skeleton for those, a piece of plywood, more two by four, so that's what I'm gonna do. So this is pretty much the same design as the desk drawer structure, however instead of building a vertical skeleton for the drawers to fit into, I'm building a horizontal one. Again using 2x4s to secure the plywood pieces in place. So these supports are a little bit smaller in the middle than on the ends because it's attaching to the plywood all the way. So to attach the drawer fronts, I'm first using a pin nailer to hold the piece in place and then securing it from the inside of the drawer with some screws. Finally adding some drawer poles. And the ones I'm using, I picked those out specifically because they're smooth. And I didn't want poles that your clothes can get caught on as you move around, because I've used regular, like, round poles in the past. You know, the kind that point out a little bit. And I find that really annoying when that kind of gets caught on your sleeves or your pants. Uh, so these are nice and smooth. Now, this last part that I'm working on here is a shelf for the bottom of the workstation. Since this piece is higher and more narrow, you don't need any leg space underneath because you're going to be using it standing up. So I figured I might as well add a shelf under there for more storage. So just cutting up some 2x4s to length. And it's also nice because then it really squares up the piece as you secure them and gets uh, the whole unit even more solid. I'm also notching at the corners of the shelf so that it fits perfectly inside. I want to be able to move the sharpening station around the shop, so I'm adding some nice casters here. And these are actually removable, so you can just pop them off when you don't need them, which is kind of nice. So some final details left. First edge banding, which just makes it really nice and crisp. Then some sanding to get it smooth. Although I want these to be shop furniture, so I'm not going crazy. I mean, these are 2x4s and I'm not looking for a perfect finish. However, it is nice to protect everything a little bit, so using some water-based poly uh, for a top coat. And finally, I get to actually organize the drawers a bit. I'm using this new system from Rockler, which looks like Lego a bit. The pieces snap together, and you can create dividers and little drawers. And you can also trim these pieces with regular scissors to make the system fit inside your drawer perfectly. I'm using it right now to store my sharpening stones. However, I might redo that and store little screws and small things instead. I don't know, but I just really like to keep things neat and organized so the system is just perfect. I've also been adding some other improvements to the shop, like this new clamp rack. And the old one I had wasn't so great, and there's nothing worse than clamps falling down on your head as you try to reach for one. Uh, so this is a lot better. And another pretty neat improvement that I have now is dust collection. <laughs> And I have been looking forward to this for such a long time. And yeah, I mean, I'm still setting everything up and figuring out exactly how I want it, you know, moving the hose around as I need it. And the more I look into this, I mean, the more I realize that configuring dust collection perfectly, it's a science all in itself. But it's been really fun. And wow, it's been such an improvement so far, especially when using the table saw. Uh, but still a work in progress. And uh, yeah, just working on setting everything up right. So if you're looking for some shop furniture uh, for your area to organize and store things and gain more workspace, then you may want to consider making something like this. Plus, I love how I'm using the same design for the desk as well as the workbench, just changing the dimensions a little bit to make this one higher and longer.
So hope you guys enjoyed the build. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.